Recently, we were on a call last week with a pretty large B2B company and their revenue is upwards of eight figures. And the issue that came to us was super simple, but at the same time, extremely common. They've got a sales team, a marketing team, tech stack subscriptions all over the place, but none of it is actually working together. And the moment I asked them on actually on call about how do you run your outbound campaigns? They started opening five different CSVs from different folders, exporting lead lists from Apollo, uploading them to any mail or whichever email enrichment tool you use, then manually scoring leads and uploading like final dot final version five CSV to smart lead finally. It was all over the place. And they told us outright that deliverability was poor, the positive reply rates were more or less non-existent, and leads were unscored. And nobody had any idea about what the campaigns were actually working or what was actually going into them. So I'll show you something real quick, right? And this is actually our old setup ourselves that we used to do back in the day, where we have a, this separate make.com scenario just for email personalization. Then we have another scenario just to clean risky emails. And we have a third scenario that is simply just to upload the leads from enriching them in any mail over to instantly with all these different routers and scenarios. And this was before we even got into the nightmare of having 10 different Google Sheets, as you can see, with segmented lists that nobody updated, ourselves included. And now let's take a look at this clay table that we have over here, where all of this happens just in one single view, where especially if you create a templated uh, clay.com template, all you have to do is upload this lead list from Apollo or Appify Scraper, that's what I would recommend. And it enriches the leads automatically, as we can see, it finds through any mail number one, which ones are valid. And the ones that are unknown, it instantly then runs another lead enrichment or email enrichment tool into it. And then finally, we validate the emails and remove the bad ones. And then if we come over here, we can even do AI research into them, AI personalization, where we can look at the specific mentions, which is really something we did for this specific campaign, the e equipment category, the pain point mentions that the company has put out there, initiative mentions. So these are actually just the specific variables we put into our email templates. And then based on the filters, tags, as we can see over here, we can now upload, auto upload all these different leads to the right campaign, whether it be different campaigns being run on instantly, different hair reach campaigns for different senders on profiles. No CSVs, no make.com scenarios, just a clean unified data system flowing top to bottom. And this is a thing that I don't see too many people talking about. It is not the tech stack and it is not the tools. It is a system. And every GTM team we talk to, they have all the tools already. They have clay.com, they have instantly smart lead, email bison, make, NADN, but they're still missing pipeline targets, still struggling with open rates, still dealing with manual operations. And the solution to that is not just building automations, but rather building infrastructure infrastructure that actually drives revenue. And let me actually take this one way further is that, let's say we use Appify, right? We run, use an Appify actor, we run it, we just, and we just create, for instance, let's say the top 1000 CMOs across biotech. So now, instead of juggling this data in five different sheets and ran, random enrichment tools, I'll just take this export and drop it into a clay template that we have over here. It's an extremely simple template, but all this does is the moment you drop it from Apollo, or in this case, Appify, it instantly runs the waterfall enrichment for the emails. And then it, we already have saved AI prompts as well as we can come over here. We can use the AI enrichment tool and go to different templates that either we have created, ones that are publicly available, although most of them are not really that useful on a high level. And instantly the system starts working. And then what we can do is we can once again come over here, we can add enrichment and we can now add it to our favorite tool, whether it be hey reach, whether it be smart lead, instantly, whatsoever. Now, instead of something that would have taken me five different spreadsheets, five different make.com automations that I would probably have to create from scratch if it is a new campaign based on a different segment or a persona. Now, all within one holistic spreadsheet, I can score every contact, find their valid emails and personalize it based on the LinkedIn profile, the company site, and then route the clean ones to a specific campaign. And I don't even have to touch it. And this is really just a really simple example of how creating a proper system with data unification allows us to integrate all these different SaaS tools, whether it be in regards to email validation, enrichment, lead scoring, AI personalization, or uploading leads to the sequencing tool. So it is these type of systems that actually help us get deals closed. And if your team is still juggling five different spreadsheets, getting flagged for spam, or wondering why your campaigns aren't hitting, it's probably not your SDRs, and it really has to do with your infrastructure. So yeah, guys, this is just a really basic example, but it really shows what most teams are missing based on all the contacts, data, and conversations we've had with so many different businesses at this point. It's not about more tools, but rather it's about having one unified system that actually drives pipeline, improves deliverability, and gives your team control over what's working and what not.